Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we talk about instance versus static variable. Now, when you are creating a class, you create normal variables and you also create static variables. Now, you need to understand very clearly on when to create a static variable and when to create a normal variable. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it in Eclipse IDE. Let's get started. Now, now I'm going to create a new project called Project 38, File, New, Java Project. I'll give the name as Project 38 and click on Next and click on Finish. Now, as usual, I'll add a package very quickly. Right click on this Add New Package. I'll be writing here My Package. And I'll add a class here called My Class. And I'll add Main Method. I check the checkbox main method. I'll write here my class. Click on finish. Now to understand, uh, let me add as usual, I always format this and delete the space here. I remove this and delete the space here. Now to understand normal variable and static variable. So what I'll do here is I'll write here class employee and I'll write here public int id and public int age. Or string name. Now when I create an object, let's take I'm creating an object here. Employee EMP is equal to new employee. Now this object employee will hold a specific employee ID and name. Now when I want to store, now let's take I'll write here EMP dot ID is equal to 5. EMP dot name is equal to Meghnath. Okay, done. Now, if I try to assign one more time, let's take I try to assign EMP dot ID is equal to six. Now, this ID will be gone from the memory because I'm reassigning six now. So if you want to store a specific employee details and only one object can store only one employee details. I repeat, one object can store five on Meghna. If you want to store six on Rajiv, you have to create one more object. Now, now if I want to store another employee six, I have to create employee EMP two or any other object you have to create. New employee. And now you can write EMP dot ID is equal to six and EMP dot name is equal to EMP dot name is equal to whatever you want, Rajiv, Kumar or something. Just write Rajiv. So so each object that you create can store a single employee. Now these are variables that are different for every employee. Now there might be some variables which are common for all employees. Let's take this class employee. All employees belongs to a company called Microsoft. Now what I can write here, I'll write here public company, public string company. Now Every time I'm assigning here, let's take I'm writing here EMP dot company is equal to Microsoft. And again, I have to write for Rajiv as well. I have to write EMP dot company is equal to Microsoft. Now, now let's assume that all the employees are from Hyderabad. Now I'll write here. Let's take I'll be writing here public string location. Now, all these employees are from Hyderabad, so I have to write here every time for every employee, I have to write dot, dot location equal to Hyderabad, dot location equal to Hyderabad. Now, in this case, out of these four variables, two variables are different for every employee. Every object that you create, ID will be different, name will be different. But these two variables are common for all objects because these are this company, all employees belongs to Microsoft, all location, all employees belongs to Hyderabad. Now, whichever you think is common for all objects, make them as static. So that's how you have to design. So which variables, the, the variables which you think is common for all objects, make the variables as static. Now what I can do here, I'll be writing here public static. And I'll be writing here public static. Now, why I'm making only these two static? Because these two are common for all employees, all objects. But these two I cannot make static because every object will have a separate ID. Every object will have a separate name. And these two, I made them as static because these are common for all objects. 
Now since these are common for all objects, you don't have to access using object. So, so how you can access this variable is, now let me delete this. Now you don't have to access, because it's common for all objects, you can directly assign here, employee dot company. So you can directly assign using class, employee class is equal to Microsoft. So here I'm directly assigning by using class name dot variable so that if a variable is static variable you don't have to create an object you can assign directly using class name dot variable because it's common for all the variables you are directly assigning using class name dot so now this is called instance variable because this is for every instance so this EMP is for one instance of employee one employee instance this instance is for other employee instance so this is called instance variable or this is an instance and these variables are instance variables because these are different for these are different for every instance and now this variable company is called static variable because that's common for all objects that is and we access using class name now if someone asks you how do we access normal variables or class variables we access using object and how do we access static variables we access using class name we access using class name. We can also access using object. You would have seen here, we can also access using object, but that will give a warning there. So if I try to write here, let's say I'm trying to write emp.company, and I'm trying to write here is equal to, I'm writing here Microsoft. Now let's see if it gives some error. Now, a yellow line in, in Eclipse indicates a warning now. You can see here. So it's, it's suggesting the static field employee.company should be accessed in a static way. So for quick fixes, change access to static using employee. So when I click this, you can directly see employee.company. So I repeat. Now there are two types of variables normally we use. One is normal variables and uh, one is static variables. And identify whichever variables are common for all objects, make them as static. And access them using class name dot company. So that way for every employee, you don't have to put emp.company, emp.company, emp.company. You don't have to put it. Okay, so I hope you are clear with what is a instance variable. This we call it as an instance variable, and this we call it as a static variable. Okay, so that's all for now. See you in the next module. Thank you.